The single bullet theory that was essential crucial. to the commission's case because of a timing conflict between the wounding of the two men, as seen on the Zabruder film, and the time needed to operate the bolt-action rifle, which the commission said Oswald had used. Find out FBI in a and Secret why, Service why test the at the assassination site, together with a frame-by-frame -frame examination of the Zabruder film, revealed that President Kennedy and Governor Conley were wounded within 1.6 seconds of each other. Test with the rifle found in the book depository, however, showed that even in the hands of an expert, the weapon required a minimum of 2.3 seconds to fire two shots. Since it was therefore physically impossible for the alleged murder weapon to have been fired twice during the time period in which both the president and the governor were wounded, only two possibilities existed. Either both men were hit by the same bullet or there was a second assassin. The single bullet theory was further necessitated by the commission's conclusion that only three shots were fired. One of these shots, though, was known to have missed the limousine entirely, striking a curbstone near the triple underpass. While it was not known which of the three shots missed, the commission was... And therein lies their little problem. A shot that missed wound up way the heck over here. <laughs> well, we'll go on. The single bullet theory was essential to the commission's case because of a timing conflict between the wound. So convincing is the film of the two separate shots that both the FBI and the Secret Service reports on the assassination stated that the two men were hit by different bullets. Harold Weisberg is a former Senate investigator who has written six books on the assassination. Neither the FBI nor the Secret Service supported the single bullet theory, and as of the last time I saw any of their records that include a reference to it, they were still not sort of laughing about the commission uh, and its single bullet theory. They both agreed uh, in their theories that the first shot hit got President Kennedy and nobody else that the second shot hit Governor Conley and nobody else, and that the third shot hit President Kennedy and nobody else. However, both the Secret Service and the FBI knew very well that a bullet had missed, had struck a curbstone, and a spray of concrete had wounded Jim Tegg. It was on the police radio. The FBI transcribed the police radio tapes. It was on the front page of the Dallas papers the next day. Everybody knew. But they just ignored it because they were determined to insist that there was a single assassin and that it was Lee Oswald. And you're about to see the little problem with their missed shot. But unquestionably, when the first shot was fired, I recognized it as a shot. I thought of nothing else but that it was a rifle shot. Uh, I turned to my right, I had time to think, I had time to react, and I turned to my right to look back over my right shoulder to see if I could see anything unusual, and particularly to see if I could catch him out of the corner of my eye. Because I immediately thought, then you mean the, 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 president. the president, because I immediately thought of an assassination attempt. The moment I heard the shot, I didn't see anything except just the general blur of waving of, of people moving, and nothing really unusual. Uh, I did not see the president out of the corner of my eye, and I was in the process of turning back to look over my left shoulder, and had, had about come to the point where I was looking straight forward again, when I felt the impact of the bullet that hit me. I am convinced beyond any question of a doubt that the first shot that was fired did not hit me. Then I was hit. So that's the Warren Commission's little problem. <laughs> they had a missed shot. And rather than assume that there was more than one assassin, <laughs> they chose to go they chose to go after their theory, this improbable theory of a single bullet.
when the most of the American people felt that the Warren Commission would <laughs> would not leave a stone unturned to find the assassin of the President of the United States. They chose instead to go after this one theory. Because it was the only way, the only way they could keep a, a, a single assassin up in the uh, sixth floor of the book depository building. Let's go over this uh, single bullet, bull, well, we call it something other than bullet, but single bullet theory. Now the Warren Commission here is claiming that they were, both men were struck while they were behind the freeway sign. We'll get into the bullets, uh, the medical part here later. And as Governor uh, Conley has stated, he was in the process of tr turning back to look over his right, sh left shoulder and had about come to the point where he was looking straight forward again when he felt the impact of the bullet that hit him. Also, what occurred to me is that Governor Conley was struck in his right wrist, and I don't want to upset the experts here, but uh, something seemed obvious to me. If he was struck in his right wrist, and actually what the Warren Commission is saying, that both men were hit at some point where they were behind the freeway. Governor's, governor, the Governor Conley suffered a delayed reaction. So he was hit through his chest, his right wrist, and wound up in his left, uh, by his left knee, frag and left fragments in his, in his wounds, but he suffered a delayed reaction, they claim. And so like I say, it occurred to me that you, what you want to look at is the governor's right wrist. So as we see here, as the president reemerges from the sign, he's already clearly been hit. He's already starting to react to his, to his wounds in his throat. Now the governor is struck. Again, watch the right wrist there. There is the moment of impact. One more time. The president's already reacting to his wound. About 2.28 or 9, 27.28, that's when Governor Conley is struck. So it's kind of in between. Uh, the Warren Commission is saying they were both struck while they were behind the freeway sign. In actuality, the president was struck while he was behind the sign. He's already starting to react to his wounds. And then the governor is struck right here about 28. Eight. You can clearly watch his right wrist one more time. Right there. Yes, I doubt severely that Governor Conley's right wrist uh, suffered a delayed reaction. In all reality, in all reality, it was probably Kennedy that suffered a slight delayed reaction. So he was probably wounded. He was probably struck and then started uh, reacting shortly after. Also here, it says uh, Governor Conley viewed the film and testified he was hit between 31 and third frames 231-234. So he was pretty accurate, but uh, that wasn't good enough for the Warren Commission. They knew that was that was still a big problem. Uh, twenty-eight, two twenty-eight, and and also, as you can see, uh, by his own testimony, he was uh, he was in the process of turning straight forward again when he was hit, and he felt the impact exactly what the film shows. Uh, Robert Groden is a photo optics expert who has spent many years examining the Zabruder film. Unfortunately, there's a road sign between the lens of the camera and the president at about the time of the first shot, which obliterates the view. So we can't tell exactly when the president was first hit. We do know that by the time he, his head disappears behind the road sign, it does not appear that he has been hit yet. At frame 225, President Kennedy shows the first signs of being hit. That is, he reemerges from behind the road sign and his hands are coming up toward his throat, being clenched. 
Governor Connolly, on the other hand, doesn't show signs of being hit until frame 237 to 238. We have quite a stretch of time there. To me, it's rather obvious that the president had been struck before Governor Conley was wounded because the president was placing his hand up to his throat. And at that time, the uh, governor was showing no signs of any distress that he had been struck in any way. It was a f just a few frames later that uh, he uh, obviously had been wounded and showed signs that he was in pain.